just a reminder that this and all my other videos are made for adult doll collectors or adults buying dolls for others. This is not a video for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet! My name is Kelsey and welcome back to my closet. Sorry this video is a little late, but with the holiday and everything, it's been difficult trying to keep up with everything. I hope that you will still enjoy this video, even if it comes to you kind of as like a Thanksgiving <laughs> present. Anyway, we've got a couple of fun things to talk about, so let's just jump right in. Now in one of my previous news videos, we talked about the Barbie Extra fashion packs, and another one has just popped up. Now, right off the bat, there is one good thing that I will note. This jacket here looks like it has a real working zipper. Based on the way the back looks in this little tiny area where the hood is, it doesn't seem like there's Velcro. So I would assume then the only way to get it on would be by the zipper. That would be really cool. And that's the kind of detail that I want to see in a line called extra. But this fashion pack immediately gets an F because you see that thing on the right, the little swirly ponytail thing? It's like a Barbie color reveal ponytail right there. But how would you use it on a Barbie extra doll, you ask? Well, if you look at the bottom, you'll see what looks like a hair helmet. That's a wig, a plastic wig. And I'm sure there's a hole in the back where you plug in the ponytail. So not only do you get a plastic wig that you have to try to fit over the head of your doll that already has hair, but then once you put it on, you have to add in garish teal ponytail hair. Why? What's the point? You already have hair on these dolls. Why are you adding fake plastic wigs and then the color reveal ponytail? I mean, like, every time I see something new from Barbie Extra, I'm, like, blown away with how ridiculous they can make their stuff. So that's that. Uh, let's move on to something else to do with Barbie. The signature pink collection doll for this year. She's apparently already available in the UK and Europe online, and you're supposed to be able to get her on the Mattel website here in America, and they are $125. There's supposed to be a blonde one too, but right now I'm only seeing pictures of a brunette. And this doll looks really nice. She's on the model Muse body, but it's in silkstone, so it's a little bit higher quality than the regular model Muse body. She's got a nice silky dress and silky gloves. She's got silver details all over. Very, very pretty. Definitely an upgrade too from last year's collector pink one. This one definitely looks like it's gonna hold up a lot better. Even her shoes are really nice. They're like silvery, glittery, really high heel pumps. Like her foot looks like it's pressed up much more than a regular Barbie heel foot would be. I do like her. I don't know if I'm gonna get her, maybe see if she goes on sale, but I do like the dress. That's the other thing. I really like that they went for a magenta instead of like a hot pink or one of the other kind of Barbie pinks that we've seen in the past. This magenta just makes it look a little bit more luxurious. Now, moving on to Bratz. These are 20th anniversary collector dolls. So it seemed like we were gonna be getting all four of the core girls in a special collector version, kind of like they did for the 10th anniversary of Bratz. But apparently now we're only getting Sasha and Yasmin, and it's a collaboration with the designer GCDS, which is an Italian designer that I've never heard of before, but the fashion I suppose is inspired by some fashion from that designer. These dolls are very nice looking. Like, I do like that Yasmin's dress has an actual Bratz print fabric. I think that's really cool because that's not something we've seen before. It looks like they've got elbow and wrist articulation, but snap knees like normal. And Sasha, I don't remember. Has she ever had braids before? I feel like this is the first time, but correct me if I'm wrong. Her bodice thing though, she's got like this seashell thing going on and then chains of rhinestones coming down. 
that's really nice and definitely gives a lot of sparkle to this outfit. And then she's got that big fluffy fur coat looking like Cruella de Vil. And these are both really nice dolls. Apparently we're supposed to be able to get them on December 1st. They're gonna be $60.99. The Holiday Felicia doll. She is really, really pretty. I love that her dress is gold. It reminds me a lot of Belle. And I am also really happy that they picked Felicia because I know she's a character a lot of people love. It's nice to see that they gave her some attention. She does look really, really nice. I think if I was gonna get any of the 20th anniversary brats, it would be her. Next, I want to touch on a little update. In one of the previous videos, we saw uh, Skate Park QT, who is one of the new BFFs from the LOL OMG line, and now we have her best friend, and that is Trendsetter. Um, how is she sweet princess's older sister? And I'm not talking like hair color and skin color or anything. I mean like she doesn't look like a princess or like she's trying to be a princess or anything. That's what I was really expecting out of this doll was that she was going to be giving that, you know, modern princess vibe, maybe having a tiara or just like really extravagant jewelry and definitely a skirt. Like I really expected her to be in a skirt, not pants. She just looks like very plain. Not even that trendy to be called a trendsetter. It definitely is a contrast to Skate Park QT, so it works in that regard, but she's not what I expected. Then again, it looks like Skate Park QT is getting a second outfit, so maybe Trendsetter's second outfit will be a little more on the line of a princess kind of outfit. Okay, so this last thing I'm gonna talk about, I thought was fake at first. However, there is a listing on a wholesale website to buy a case of these. So I'm starting to think that maybe this is real after all, and I've wasted enough time just blah, blah, blahing on about it. Let's tell you what it is. Mini Brands is coming out with mini fashion. So the official description says five surprise fashion mini brands are all the best fashion trends in your closet made mini. Unwrap and peel to reveal five min mystery miniatures in every capsule. There are over 40 miniature fabric handbags and accessories to collect. Wow. <laughs> this is huge. And I'm sure that Zuru was kind of inspired by Real Littles because Real Littles kind of did the mini brands things before mini brands was a thing. And now they're just taking what Real Littles has, which are really cute small purses and backpacks and stuff, but making them even smaller so that they could be the size for dolls and made out of real fabric. Oh man. So this is gonna be really great for dolls that like don't come with purses like Rainbow High or like Barbie whose purses are all made of hard plastic with no details on them. If these are really real, like I'm still a little bit wary to call this 100% real and I wanna be upfront with you guys about that. But like, if this is real, give me your whole stock. Shut up and take my money. I love this. I love, love, love this. I already love mini brands. I love the toy mini brands. Now we got these. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I am gonna be buying so many of these balls. Oh my God. I believe that is everything that I wanted to cover in this video. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, let me know what of these things that I covered you're interested in, excited for, and I believe that is all. So have a great Thanksgiving if you guys celebrate Thanksgiving, and I will see you next time.